Hello student, welcome to today's lesson. This is biology lesson for grade 12. Student, in our last lesson, we are seeing ecological succession, biodiversity in the population. In our today's lesson, we will going to see the new topic, genetics. Under this lesson, we will see genetic cross. Student, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to define Mendelian genetic terminology and work out the outcome of monohybrid cross. Student, do you know what by means genetics to mean? Well done. It is all about the science of inheritance, a science of heredity. It is a science of biology that deal about a transmission of gene, which we call a unit of hereditary material, from parent to offspring, from generation to generation. There is some terminology that we can deal together with genetics. This include DNA. DNA is one type of nucleic acid that is made from a smaller monomer called nucleotide. And again, DNA is very important in genetic material storage. DNA is very stable molecule and it is made from two strands. By that, DNA is considered as a double strand molecule where, in this manner, DNA can have this like structure made from two strands, which is very important in storage of genetic material. And then other, there is a chromosome. When we say chromosome, it is a long tree-like structure that is made from DNA protein complex. A special protein that is very importantly to compose chromosome is histone protein. When chromosome is not ready for division, it may be loosely found within a DNA. By that, this loosely arrangement of chromosome within a DNA is considered as chromatin. When they cannot be stained under a microscope, we call it is said to be chromatin. And another, Gene is another term, which is considered as a unit of hereditary material, or short section of DNA, that is located over a chromosome. One individual show a variation from the else because of this gene. The one that can determine a variation among an organism, we call a gene. Gene is always found in a pair. Where? This different version of this gene is considered as an allele. If certain gene is found in AA, a gene, a pair of, whereas this version of gene, which is said to be 1 over 2 of A and 1 over 2 of A, we call it is said to be allele. By that, allele is said to be a different version of gene, the one that can be determined particular traits. As we human beings can be reproduced sexually as a result of meiosis or division, we can inherit half of a chromosome from our father, we call paternal, and half of a chromosome from our mother, the one that we call maternal. Here, there is a term homologous pair. A chromosome come together and they forming a pair, the one that can be determined certain feature a certain locus or position is said to be homologous pair. For example, one over two of a chromosome, 23 chromosomes from a mother, and the 23 chromosomes from a father, the one that come together to form 46 chromosome. Because we human beings can be contained 46 chromosomes with our sex cell, 
And again here, it comes to form 23 pair. This 23 pair is considered as homologous pair. In homologous pair, each chromosome arranged according to their size and the shape. The longer one become arranged together, and the shorter one become arranged together. This one is what is homologous pair. Another very important point is, different genes over a chromosome occupy different position. The position they occupy over a chromosome is said to be locus. For example here, different allele occupy different locus here. And they again come together, different genes occupy different locus. When we say homozygous, it is when an organism chromosome contain an allele that can become from the same locus. The same locus here. In this case, PP here is when an organism contains the same allele in a gene. Let's say here is a PP gene, which we call P capital P capital, which come from the same locus. And again, A small, A small, which come from the same locus. By that, we call this one is said to be homozygous. The same allele found within a gene. If different allele within a gene found, we call it is said to be heterozygous. Heterozygous means there is a gene that can be determined in particular traits. That gene is made from different allele here. And another thing is genotype. When you say genotype, it is an internal genetic composition of an organism that can determine particular trait of an organism. As we can inherit half of a chromosome or half of a trait from each of our parent, we can have a genotype. We cannot be determined genotype of a living organism by external description. We call it said to be an internal genetic composition of a living organism. A else, there is a phenotype again. When you say phenotype, it is external physical observable character of a living organism. Externally. For example, we can say red, we can say white, we can say black, we can say long, we can say short, we can say thin, we can say fat again. This is an externally observable character. External observable character of an organism or phenotype can be determined by genotypic makeup of a living organism plus the environment in which that living organism found. These two factors can be determined an individual phenotype. The only point that we can work with is diploid and haploid. When you say diploid or 2N, a cell having two sets of chromosomes, for example, Cells like somatic cell or body cell. Cells like zygotic cell. They are considered as diploid. Two sets is found in that. And again, the LG is haploid one. When you say haploid, cell having one set of chromosome. For example, sperm cell from the father, egg cell from a mother. We can inherit N from father. We can inherit N from father plus N from mother, which as a result of fertilization, which can come to form 2N or zygote. The end point is dominant and the recessive. When you say dominant, an externally observable and capable to express itself. A trait that can express. We will see. What is expression to mean? When you say recessive, a trait that cannot be expressed itself. For example, in Mendelian cross, all traits when homozygous character and another homozygous character become crossed, they come masked in F1 generation, but can be expressed in F2 generation. Recessive character masked in F1 generation and expressed in F2 generation. Mendel proposed two main cross, that is monohybrid and the dihybrid cross. Student, do you forecast what by means monohybrid cross to mean?
Well then, when you say monohybrid, a cross or a breeding situation that involve one contrasting trait only. Here, Mendel, who is a father of genetics, who experimented over garden P, or scientific name of P. Samsatuivum, he experimented to deduce or to understand the rule of inheritance. He prefers this garden pea plant for his experimentation because of so many reasons. The one reason is it is easy for these plants to grow and again easy to self-pollinate again. And again, there is so many observable contrasting traits within a garden pea. This plant has a short life cycle. The seven main character or traits that Mendel selected are flower color that can be represented by purple, which is dominant over white, and again seed color, which is yellow, and again green, which is recessive again, seed shape, which is round, dominant over that of wrinkled, which is recessive, pore color, which is green, dominant over that of yellow, which is recessive, Pore shape, which is inflated, dominant, and again constricted, which is recessive again. Flower position, axial, which is dominant, terminal, which is recessive. Plant height, which is tall, which is dominant, and again short, which is recessive. Student, all characters that found in this side are all dominant. Over the character that found over this side, which is recessive. Here, we'll see what is the cross following this character. Be sure that he starts from that of homozygous dominant in this side and the homozygous recessive from this one. There is a rule. He selected this seven trait from the third one to deduce the rule of inheritance. Before he starts any breeding situation, he prefers to check whether the character he selected is pure or not by carrying out self-pollination. So he wanted to be cross this homozygous trait, dominant trait, with homozygous recessive trait, and wanted to know whether the final cross is homozygous or not to understand the purity of the traits. For example, he took one flower color, which is a purple flower color that is represented by P capital, P capital. Remember, student, when you say P capital, P capital, homozygous P capital, P capital, crossed with white, which is a recessive, P, P small, P small. We say it is monohybrid because the letter is P capital, P capital, the letter is P small, P small. Our trait is flower color. After he crossed this one, all of things that you obtained from this one is all heterozygous or hybrid. As a result of self-pollination, there is offspring obtained. He crossed pure purple flower with pure white flower, but obtained heterozygous or hybrid. He wanted to be understand whether the character is pure or not, but it is not pure. It is going to hybrid. This, in this case, the character of recessiveness, the one that we call white, cannot be expressed here. So, he continued to the next procedure. He removed the stamen by the process of asculation. The main aim of removing stamen here is to prevent the plant not to be self-pollinated. And prefer to cross the progeny of F1 generation. Here, he crossed. P capital, P capital, with P small, P small. Wanted to be expect a pure character here. Wanted to be expect a pure character or pure traits. As a result of this cross, but the character is not pure. Instead, it is going to what? Hybrid or heterozygous. Dominant purple flower color, recessive homozygous white, and they're going to obtain heterozygous one. Then, removing stamen from here and going to cross-pollinate here. Here, the progeny of F1 generation of one plant with a progeny of another F1 generation, he obtained F2 generation. 
Then after, he continued this one. Firstly, before we deduce our outcome, it is better to identify what is our given year. For example, our given trait is flower color. You can have seed shape, you can have flower position, you can have plant height. You can change so many traits here. Here, flower color, which is homozygous dominant purple, crossed with homozygous white recessive. Then, F1 generation is obtained here. Gene is found in pair. To be form another gene, it must be segregated. Separation into allele. He used this a closing system. A breeding situation that have one contrasting trait. This one is a trait that comes from homozygous purple. Whereas this one is a character that comes from recessive homozygous white. If he goes in F1, P crowd without a P small, P capital P small is obtained here. And again, P capital P small is obtained here. P capital P small is obtained here. P capital P small is obtained here. So, within this table, all the progen is going to heterozygous. Then, we can deduce the phenotype in the genotype of this cross. For example, when we say phenotype, an external observable character. When you say genotype, an internal genetic description of an organism. Here, phenotypically, the allele that is come from this one, going to dominate the allele that's found here. Allele that's coming from that of purple, homozygous purple dominating the recessive one. Allele coming from that of the purple in this one, dominating the white one. Allele came from that of this one, dominating the white one. By that, the character of whiteness become masked. By that, phenotypically we say, all or 100% purple. Because the trait of P small is become masked by P capital. Genotypically, we can describe about genetic composition of this one. Means all P capital P small or 100% hybrid here. Why he started this crosses? To check the character is pure or not. But he doesn't end up with that of a pure. His end product is going to hybrid. Then he take another opportunity or alternative here. He self-pollinate here. Self-pollinate the offspring of F1 generation by removing stem. Means to obtain F2 generation here, which is going to F2 generation. F2 generation. F1 generation, which is all P capital P small. And again, F1 of another, P capital P small. Finally, he wanted to deduce F phenotype and the genotype of this cross in F2 generation. Whether he obtained the character from the character that he started, we call homozygous purple with that of homozygous white. Then he segregated. This one is from purple, from F1 of this one, and again F1 of the else. Then P capital, P small, one allele from that of a purple, the else allele from that of the white, one allele from that of the purple. L the allele from that of the white. Then, P capital, P capital, which is going to P capital, P capital. And again, P capital, P small, which is going to P capital, P small. And again, P capital, P small. And again, which is going to P capital, P small. And again, P small, P small, which is going to P small, P small. The pure character is obtained in a fetal generation by 125%, by 25%. And again, the heterozygous or F1 filial progeny become obtained by 2 or 50 percent. Finally, we can deduce the phenotype and the genotype of this cross. 3 over 4 or 75 percent purple. Here, 1 over 4 or 25 percent whiteness become observed. The character of whiteness that is masked in F1 generation become expressed in F2 generation by 1 over 4 or by 25%. By 25%. 
whereas the character of F1 progeny become obtained by 50%, the character of purplus, homozygous purplus become obtained by 25%. Genotypically, 25PP, homozygous P, we cannot say purple or white since we are speaking about genotype. In case of phenotype, we can speak purple or white, tall, whatever it is. Since we are speaking about external observer character. Here, 50% P capital P small, the ones that you call hybrid here. And again, 25% P small P small. Or we can say 1 P capital P capital, we can say 2 P capital P small, we can say 1 P small P small. Good. In F2 generation, he found that 1 over 4, which is recessive, P small P small. In the again, 1 over 4, purple or homozygous dominant, which is P capital P capital. In the again, 1 over 2, which is not homozygous dominant, which we call heterozygous one, P capital P small. You can expect this like. This result suggests that in F2 generation, the monohybrid cross, if you start from homozygous purple and the homozygous white, we can obtain 3 to 1 ratio. 3 can be represented for dominant. 3 dominant. Cross with the ratio of 1, which is recessive. Recessive. This system, the law that can run with Mendel first law is considered as law of segregation. Means a particular trait or a factor can be segregated or separate from each other during gamete formation. This is a Mendel monohybrid cross or law of segregation. During monohybrid cross, always we can expect 3 to 1 ratio. When 3 represent dominant, 1 represent recessive. Good student. In our today's lesson, we have seen what by means genetics to mean. And again, we have seen some genetic terminology. And additionally, we have seen why Grieger Mendel prefer to work over garden pea plants. And again, why Grieger Mendel remove stamen during his experimentation activity. And again, we have seen certain example and deduce genotype and the phenotype cross of a given trait. In our coming lesson, we will start what is dominance and again what is dihybrid cross. Until that, goodbye students.